Hello there, YouTube. Uh, this is Lighter Monkey, or uh, other known as uh, Jix or Speedster. I don't think I'm actually known like that on YouTube, just Lighter Monkey. Um, I put up a couple videos of this XCR um, in the past. Um, a few running videos. Um, I was actually saying that I, I was going to try to put some more videos in, but I had a couple little issues with it. Um, and I just kind of wanted to make this video to go over some of the issues that I've encountered with this um, with this RCMK XCR. Um, overall, very good truck. Better than DBXL. Better than the Red Cat that's got the same, I think it's called the Red Cat Chimera. That thing was a pile of shit. I actually had one of those. If you look on my channel, you can see some previous videos. That thing was a complete piece of shit. The Red Cat Chimera, anyways. Um, but yeah, this is a video just about the XCR. Um, one thing in particular, uh, like I said, the, uh, the reason that I haven't made that many videos on it recently, I don't know if you can see it very well, there we go, um, this is one of them, this is the, uh, this is the clutch carrier for it, and it's a plastic clutch carrier, you know, you can, just by like tapping it, it's not metal, this is the, the base model of the XCR that I've had, I don't know, maybe a couple years, something like that, a year and a half, maybe more. And um, you can tell just by looking that there's some upgrades there. Uh, of course, not the stock engine, not the stock pipe. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is just kind of going over some issues that, that needs to be addressed with this car if you do end up picking it up. Uh, one of them is going to be, uh, like I said, this um, clutch carrier. It's plastic, and the inside, you can actually tell just by looking at the video, the inside melted because there's just no ventilation going there isn't much ventilation going into this uh, clutch carrier. Um, there's barely any ventilation going into it. I mean, yeah, you got like two holes. You got two holes like right, you know, right there, right there, but that's, and then a few holes on the side, but that's barely it. Um, and the bearings, this is like my third plastic clutch carrier. And I got tired of it and I was like, screw this. I'm just picking up the turtle racing clutch carrier that's on there now. You can see it. Um, I'm going to take the body off here in a minute. But, um, yeah, I just thought it was strange because I, the first time, the first time of driving it that I ever had the vehicle, um, you know, driving it a few times and I never really had that happen to where the clip, to where it burned up and these bearings in here, these, the one side of the bearing you can tell just took a crap. These bearings in here were, were good bearings. They were fast, steady bearings. So like I, it just, it got really hot apparently in this plastic, you shouldn't make a clutch carrier out of plastic anyway. I don't know what the fuck X... Um, RCMK was thinking, but um, yeah, that that's one thing. And then I had to, and then I had to get the shocks, uh, get the shocks set up a little bit better. There's other springs on these rear shocks. Um, I got the stiffer springs from DBM. I don't know the part number. Um, there were for the DBXL. Some of the parts on here were for the DBXL, but they fit the XCR. So, you know, that's that's good news. Um, these RCMK parts are a little far in between, a uh, little, I'm sorry, um, a little, you know, a little hard to find. I guess that's, that's how you word that. Um, like, for instance, it took them, I don't even know how long to get the, to get their metal clutch carrier in. And then the, the engine mount that's on the very bottom, they just got that in a little bit ago. I didn't actually put it in yet, but I'm, I'm probably going to purchase it. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the shocks... The, the shocks are really good. They have, um, I would say, a, a big improvement over the DBXL. They're made a lot better. You know, they're just, um, you know, they feel better. They're not spongy as hell. There's actually good shock oil in them to start. Uh, I don't know what the weight is, and I tried looking it up online. Nobody really knew. But, um, yeah, the the front still needs the, 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 the harder springs on it. Of course, I have the the outer wears on the shocks you need those kind of help protect your shocks when you're driving in shit tons of dirt and you can see the outer wear on the engine you can probably see that and then on the pull starter you want outer wears on your stuff people you definitely do um kind of just like Botagel's always saying he says it almost every every video that he's in you know outer wears kid i eat steak sorry i'm not i'm not making fun of him or anything if he sees this video he's actually a really good youtuber uh, as far as RC stuff goes, um, but uh, yeah, and a couple, a couple, a few other little things. Uh, let me take the body off. 
<clears throat> oh, and then by the way, the body, um, when you get a, when you get an XCR, these bottom clips pop off all the goddamn time on the body. So what I did is I drilled a couple little holes, and you can tell, let me hold the body up there, drilled a couple little holes on each part of the body, and then a clip, a, equipped like a little S kind of carry, carabiner, I guess is what you would call that. Um, you can see it right there. You can just buy these at Home Depot. And, the, and then the clips just stay right on there, like all the time. And then you can do, I, I didn't do anything with these, but you can. You know, you can put some wires or something and attach them to the actual body if you want to. You know, put like little body wire clips around and then, and then that way they stay on. But these stay on pretty good. But the bottom ones were the ones that were always falling off. Because they, you know, they get, if you take a hard jump, they'll, you know, your truck will hit the ground. And then the body, then the bottom body clip will just fall out. I lost, I don't know, fucking ten of them easily. So that's, that's something to note if you pick up an XCR, or if you have one. Okay, and then um, you can tell I got a, another exhaust. This The stock exhaust, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. I'm sure it's probably a good exhaust. I've just never been one for keeping stock exhaust on my vehicles. Um, you know, you always want to go with the upgraded exhaust. It's just better, um, you know, just better... I guess better back pressure and stuff going in, going through the exhaust. You know, it's just a, a tuned pipe from like DDM or something is always better than a stock pipe. It just it just always is going to be a lot less restrictive and stuff. And this tuned pipe sounds amazing. Like it sounds great. Like it's not crazy loud. It's it's perfect. Um, it was from a DBXL, and I just did a couple modifications to it. The way it mounts to the body is a, is a little bit different than how you would do it on a DBXL, but it. Like it looks fine and it looks like it's you know almost supposed to be like that i had to drill a little hole just right there on the bottom which that's you know not a big deal and of course you can tell 845s in the throttle and the steering which you can't go wrong with high techs you just you can't i've had high techs in a lot of my other cars for years and they never they never crap out like never um, let's see, and yeah, you can see the outer wears there, you can see the pull start outer wears, and then I got the outer wears on the air filter, and by the way, the air filter that comes with it is okay, you can probably use it, that comes with the RCMK, but I have a DDM, um, from a low C5, like a two-stage air filter, with the outer wear on it, um, and then of course we have the, uh, Performance 990 carb, kind of helps keep dirt out a little bit better with the Performance version of that 990. Um, I just recently installed these on. We'll see how these work out. Um, the full, what is it, full force, like fuel fittings and stuff. We'll see how those work. I haven't actually even tested it with that on there. Um, yeah, and there's the DBXL um, clutch carrier. That seems to work okay, and it, and it worked all right. It just, I couldn't, and I got it mounted and everything okay. I just couldn't, I couldn't use the stock cage that goes over the engine that's with the RCMK which it looks cool and it covers the it covers the uh, spark plug really nice and stuff like I like it but I can't with this with this clutch carry you can't have that stock cage over the engine I ordered the low C one and I might put it on when I upgrade the engine and do some other stuff to it which I'm gonna do in the future here but uh, yeah um, of course the little DDM gas cap gotta have that represent represent DDM racing Um, yeah, but the, the front, I think I definitely need the, to put the other stiffer springs on the front. It just, it comes down and it slams too hard on the front. The rear's good. Like, it's, it's real good stiffness. Like, it comes back up. You know, it's, like, that's, that's actually really, really good. Um, another thing I was really impressed, too, about the XCR is the battery tray. The way the battery tray sits in there, I'm not going to pop it off, but you can take a look at it if you're, you know, if you want to look at a, um, an XCR at any point. It's actually really well made. Um, you know, this this tray just pops off pretty easily. I mean, you got to fidget with it a little bit, but then it's got a little holder in that holds the battery in, and you screw the little holder down. You don't need to put any foam. You don't need to do any of that shit with the battery. It, it holds that battery in there tight as shit, which you want that. You don't want that. You don't want your battery flopping around like crazy. Like, that sucks. Um, yeah, and then here's the... Oh, you can tell the kill switch, too. And it's, it's got a killer RC, kill switch, killer B. 
you know that's that's needed on a fifth scale if you if you don't have that then you're you're pretty stupid because if, if for some reason your throttle gets stuck and the engine just goes out of control you got a you got a 50 pound machine just going into fucking gonna run into somebody and crack their goddamn shin or something that's like that's stupid if you don't have a uh, kill switch on your and it doesn't have to be this kill switch but if you got a if you got a fifth scale you want a kill switch 100 percent Oh, there's one of the other little bottom mounts for the exhaust. I just had to drill another uh, another hole there to put that on. Um, like I said, this is untested, but it should work just fine. The the turtle racing clutch housing. I'm sorry, not clutch housing, but clutch carrier right there. It's just got the stock um, the stock clutch bell on it. I think it's okay. It vents pretty well. Like it's got a lot of holes in the in the actual clutch bell. So I would say it, I would say it vents is pretty damn good. You know, I might upgrade it in the future. Um, and the engine that's on here is a, um, like I said, I did a few other videos where I was kind of talking about it, but I was, I was trying to talk about the car while the engine was running, and you probably didn't hear me very well. Uh, so I wanted to make one. I'm actually going to make a dedicated one for, you know, a couple of my cars, so look forward to that on the channel. Um, but this one has a Zenoa, it's got a Zenoa 290 with a rebuilt head on it, because this engine was from a... This engine I actually had in my Red Cat Chimera that I had a while ago. Um, you know, you can you can take a look at videos of it if you want to. I think I have a couple on my channel just to see how actual crappy that thing is compared to XCR or DVXL. It's a piece of shit. Uh, but yeah, this engine was from the Chimera that I had. And I, somehow it got a shit ton of dirt in it. I think I had a TGN air filter and it got a lot of dirt in it and just totally screwed up the fucking filter or just totally screwed up the engine that was I took the engine apart and there was dirt in it like a son of a bitch so what I actually ended up doing was I ordered a new head kit I ordered a new piston kit and it's extra performance piston and head kit but it's like the lowest version of a performance piston and head kit um, for the for the G for the 290 so it's it's not a crazy one I just wanted to see if it would work and I wanted to keep it a little inexpensive if I could so I found it on the deal of the day for DDM and went ahead and picked up the head, the piston, um, and you know just a couple other various gaskets and stuff, and rebuilt the engine myself. And I'm actually very happy how that turned out. Like it, it runs great. Like it runs fucking awesome now. I just did a really good job cleaning the engine. Did a real good job sealing all the engine internals. You know, get some get some sealer in between the header. Get some sealer where the where the two parts of the crankcase touch, you know, where they, where they come together, and it's, you know, and it's amazing now. Like, it's, it's a good engine. But I do have some plans for this thing in the future, um, so look forward to some videos of that. Um, and, and hopefully some more, maybe some more videos of this engine, because I, I, you know, I do like this engine. I just... I just had some uh, had some plans I wanted to do with it. A uh, buddy of mine's picking. I actually already has his name's Kit Five Hundred. Give him a little shout out. He already has a um, Bartolone reed case motor. That's like a I think it's a thirty one, and it was like a it was like a seven hundred dollar engine, something like that, seven eight hundred dollars. And I just wanted to personally see because what I'm gonna do with with a little project with this thing is I'm picking up a three twenty engine, a G three twenty. I picked up new transfer ports that go inside, that go on the sides, like Bartolone transfer ports. Um, I picked up a ported and polished, uh, like championship ported uh, race head kit for the 320. And he's gonna, and my buddy's gonna sell me a performance flywheel for it. Um, and uh, you know, just various other odds and ends. And I want to see what kind of power ratio and stuff, and and like how close I can get a G320 to his like $800 engine that he's going to throw in his, um, that he's going to throw in his Losi and his buggy and his Losi buggy that he, that he's been building. So that's, you know, and it's not, and it's not anything like, oh yeah, you know, <clears throat> it's not anything like, uh, you know, oh yeah, I want to buy this engine. I mean, it, maybe it is a tiny bit. I want to buy this engine that's, you know, $400 less and kick your ass with your $800 engine. That's not exactly it. It's just, you know, I just want to see what, if, if I can get a 320 to that type of performance of a of a Bartolone reed case motor like that's kind of the main thing I'm just kind of curious and plus I loved rebuilding this engine like it was it was cool as hell and it was fun you know just knowing that everything's sealed like because you did it 
and it's sealed really freaking well and everything's built really well because you know you're doing it yourself that was that was actually really cool like i personally love that type of shit so um you know rebuilding and 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 like making a performance um zenoa 320 engine would be which is going to be pretty sick i think so um yeah so yeah please um look forward to any kind of other videos coming out um uh that, like i said there's going to be one or two in particular of a couple of cars that are going to be that I'm going to just do a dedicated video on. Um, one of them is going to be a street car, uh, one tenth scale nitro street car that you, you don't even find videos for on YouTube. Um, so I wanted to make one and maybe I'll get a decent amount of views and people. And it's actually a little one tenth scale nitro street car you can still build. So I wanted to see, you know, I wanted to throw some videos up that way if anybody, I'm sorry, you can still, that you can build and you can actually still buy off of eBay and it's inexpensive. Um, so yeah, look forward to that, and then I have, uh, I'm gonna do a video of my, um, my Roven, my Roven HPI that I've, that I've got, so hopefully I look forward to that coming up, but, um, overall, yeah, uh, the XCR, amazing car, you can't get this thing right now on DDM, though, is the only problem, which sucks, unless they got more in, which I don't, I don't think so, yeah, um, uh, you, you can definitely tell the quality of an XCR over a DBXL. So if you're, you know, if you're looking at, if you're looking at picking up one or the other, I would, I would definitely say the XCR if you can, if you can get it. And it's actually less. An XCR is like 700, 750, just the bone stock XCR. And a freaking DBXL that's got a lot of crappier components and shit on it is, you know, thousand something dollars, some, somewhere around there. So, you know, if you can pick up a XCR, I would recommend it for sure much better much better vehicle the engine it comes with isn't very good i mean it's it's okay but it's not you know it's not zenoa it's not cy it's not well actually i think it is a cy i don't i don't know i'm not sure or maybe it's their own engine i, I don't know offhand but uh yeah um i just wanted to throw a little update video on um oh yeah and then as a side note i've actually Besides the clutch carrier, nothing has ever broke on this thing, and I've bashed, I've bashed this thing a decent fucking amount. This thing has jumped high as shit, like it's hauling goddamn ass. I'm doing donuts like crazy, like nothing has really busted because you can tell everything is beefy as shit on this thing, just like a fifth scale is supposed to be. Like I don't know if I even need any aluminum shit because all these plastics are beefy as a son of a bitch. Yeah. I don't even know if I need anything like that. I don't think I will until shit, you know, breaks. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. And, uh, I appreciate it. Please click the like if you, you know, if you want to. It's up, up to you. I don't really care either way. Um. Yeah, and definitely check out my friend's channel if you want to as well. It's just Kit500, I think. He's got a lot of, he's got more fist scales than I do. And, and some different stuff than I do. Um, some, uh, you know, some Krakens, uh, he's got a big ass fist scale that's a fucking monster truck, check that out if you'd like to, uh, Kit 500, so K-I-T-T -T 500, but, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you for watching, and, um, you have a good one.